Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, and I am glad you've come to this video because I'm going to tell you if you have bought a CNC router, don't buy clamps. Make your own. If you have to buy clamps, don't buy metal clamps. Super dangerous to your router bits. Let me show you. I was working on this stacked text project here. I love CNC for a video that I had done. I was, knew that I had a very thin wall here when I was making this. And I knew clamping was going to be an issue. Now you can see right there, my router bit went right through that clamp. In fact, I'm going to show you a little short video of it doing that. I knew I was going to have problems with this because my clamping area is so thin. But you see how much that clamp, this little bit, was able to take off. And this is another one that I ran into along the way. Had this been a metal clamp, this $22 bit, carbide down eighth inch end mill bit would have broke. And these clamps I made, like made them all in one shot on one board. I designed it all up and just ran the whole thing at once. And I had 21 clamps when I was done. In fact, if you want to know how to do that, there's a video for that as well. It tells you how to design it up. There's a link down in the description for that. But the reason these clamps are different from like everybody else's clamps is because of the step on them. So you see, it's stacked up here. This is, slide it, two different clamps. And then the step is right on top of that one. So these can go all the way down and clamp like on a piece of glass. If you're gonna do some glass etching on your router. This can stack from zero, basically, as high as you wanna go. So if you have a very thick piece of wood, this is an inch and a quarter, you can, just keep going and it'll work. The point of this video is I really want to save you a problem because inevitably you will run into your clamps in some sometime whenever you're doing a project. It's just something that happens. So you want to have a clamp that can give rather than it's so hard that your router bit can't drive through it. It's exactly why I make them out of pine. So you can go to Lowe's, buy a 12 inch by 16 inch board, which is what I used, and cut them all out. And this is a quick video of it being cut out. Of course, it's sped up. It takes about an hour, maybe total, from cut to getting them off the board. But you can see, all I had to do was trim the tabs off with a little razor knife. And there we are. They just need a little bit of cleanup. I mean, when it comes down to it, you bought a CNC router to make stuff. You can make your own clamps too. You're just wasting your money for buying clamps and you're risking your router bits. Go watch that video that tells you how to make these clamps. The link again is down below. Or if you don't want to go through the process of designing and what have you, I've got the file for that available on Etsy. The Vectric file. SVG, DXF, and the G-code file. So basically, you follow the instructions that I wrote up, you plug the code in, you'll set it up the way I told you, and hit go. And your clamps will be done in about 45 minutes. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up, a comment, and go watch that video about clamps. Make your own. This is Garrett. I hope you have a great day, better tomorrow, and happy CNCing.